What's up, everybody? This is Rob Shack. I hope y'all are doing well today. So we are going to be doing the next level in my, or actually we're going to be doing the secret missions in my Nobunaga Oda walkthrough where we are retaking Azuchi Castle. <clears throat> be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. Y'all are all awesome. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to unlock some of the secret missions. I'm going to try to explain them because I read about them and they kind of are confusing. So I might have to kind of walk through with this with us and we're going to talk at this, about it as it's happening here because it's pretty weird. But basically there's two missions that involve Oichi and Ram Maru encountering Keiji. And then there's a mission where I think either all... Either Oichi or Rama were running a no. So I think what I'm going to try to do is like not really go the way I normally plan on going. I'm going to advance from the west with them. I'm going to still kind of set up uh, the stuff I'm going to try to do here, but it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So I defeated the uh, defense captain because I know that that's what triggers the fire attack for some reason. I don't know why. Seems weird that that's the way to determine that, but I'm just going to go ahead and move because I already beat it. The fire attack unit should do it. There they go. I'm going to still defeat these two gates because I like getting maximizing my troop count. And then I'm just going to advance west with Oichi and Ranmaru. And I noticed, and I did this last in the video last week, and y'all can see this when I did it. Uh, Oichi and Ranmaru, when they defeat that the Atsuji guy, he uh, is the guy who has those speaker cannons in a stronghold. So what I'm going to do is after I defeat this gate, I'm going to head over to the west and actually do that. I think there might be some secret dialogue. I'm not sure. We're going to see what happens here. But I think there'll be some secret dialogue if I use that gate and get to Magoichi that way, which I'm kind of excited to try. Um, <clears throat> but I don't like that... <laughs> I don't like that Nobunaga is just setting everything on fire. It seems really stupid of him, considering that he was originally the leader of Azuchi Castle, so I'm not really sure what that's all about, but I don't really... This level seems super hilarious, and this is like the what would happen if Nobunaga was still alive thing, and it's basically just that he would destroy everything, which seems kind of stupid, seeing as how he was in the position of power to win everything in the world at this time. So I don't really know what that's all about, but that's just... That's Nobunaga for you. So, we're gonna head over here now. Take this gate. Defeat Atsuji. And see what happens if we can get into the little thing. The little spear cannon. I'm gonna ambush, I guess it's technically an ambush. Ambush Magoichi from there. See if anything happens to make it interesting. I kinda doubt it because I don't think they planned. I mean, they, they planned for everything in this game. That's something I've realized with Koei on Samurai Warriors 1 is... They really were on the ball with this game. The fact that there's so many secret missions and alternative paths and routes for literally every level except for like a few is pretty insane. Did a really good job of making this game incredible. So hats off to Koei for this game. It's like amazing. Definitely one of my favorite games in the series and I've already reviewed it, but I'll review it again with my new computer that I have now because, you know, technology is amazing. So. Beat this, come into here, take out the armory gate, jump on, just fireball one of those strike engines real quick because I don't want him to touch this thing while I'm trying to go places. Now let's get out of here. I like how I can charge up. The spirit cannon has arrived. The spear cannon must be stopped. Well, that's interesting. So it's, all it did was it lowered their morales, which is still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. So I'm gonna jump in here, blow this gate up. I'm gonna charge straight through, annihilate that sky ninja because I hate sky ninjas in this game. I mean they're great because they're annoying. They do their job well. <clears throat> I'm gonna destroy this gate here. And then I'm gonna try. Show them what we can do. I, I was gonna go for Mitsu Magoichi. I still will do that. But what I'm also gonna try to do is see what happens if I go over to Nobunaga. I have this a score to set thing. With you. I just took a lot of damage. What's gonna happen if I blow this up? I've been wondering this for a long time. 
Is there anything of note in this place? Because there should be something cool in here, or else this is a big fat waste of time that I even went all this way. I'm gonna get off it because I don't need to be on it when I'm looking around in here, but this is cool. Hey, what? You're running away. Well, all right then. I did not know there was a failing mission there. It's pretty hilarious. Well, because the thing with the spear cannon is we can't take it up ledges. Yeah, I feel like the spear cannon is not really that worth it to invest in because defeating Maguichi here, you still end up... If, if you defeat Maguichi here, the level proceeds as normal anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like, I guess it would be kind of cool if there was, like, a comment where if I was able to use the spear cannon to get away from him, but I just walked away. I'm still kind of getting rid of Maguichi, because why not, you know? It's just experience, you know? So we're going to get rid of him, and then I'm going to head back over to the other side and help out... Um, Ranmaru and Oichi with, I think that's one of the Akechi, I'm not sure which Akechi that is, I think it's uh, the main one, like Hinemetsu Akechi is that guy's name, the one that is usually over there. Oichi is really blocking a lot, it's very annoying, he needs to knock it off. Stop blocking! I don't know if that move actually broke his shield or not. I don't actually know, but I'm just gonna move on here. We shall follow your example. I'm not even gonna go that way. I, I don't want to fail the fire attack missions. I can see that lowering my morale, so I'm not gonna go that way. Even though there's a spy leader that literally just ran that way and is now just standing somewhere over there. I'm just going to continue what I was planning here. So, we're going to go over here. Walk right through all these units because they're just not doing anything. I'm going to attack... Oh, it's Shige Tomo Akechi is who I'm looking at here. So, not Hidemetsu. That's the other guy. There's a few catchy generals that I don't know if they're related to Mitsu Kade or not. This game doesn't have a uh, archives like Dynasty Warriors games, so I was like, I don't actually know. We shall follow your example. Just annihilate this Fire Ninja because I don't like Fire Ninjas; they are very annoying. This way, I think this gate is open. Oh, it's not open. Interesting. Also, do my generals just not move? Maybe I should go that way then. If they're just going to be standing here, I need to get. Basically, need to get uh, Oichi and Ron Maru to attack Keiji. So they're not moving. So I guess I will go this way and trigger. The fire attack, I guess. So this is where I'm trying to figure this whole thing out right now, is I don't actually know what I'm doing here. But I, yeah, I'm gonna go this way for now. We must destroy more if we are to create. I'm get rid of this defense captain right here. I assume they'll start to move eventually if I do something. I doubt that they just stopped because I didn't get rid of Maguichi. I highly doubt that, so... I gotta destroy this uh, Wind Ninja. They're driving me nuts. Some of these units are so awesome because they are very annoying. Like, the Wind Ninja is a great unit because of how absolutely annoying it is. Get rid of these 
muskets here. Yeah, like units are moving towards. It's so weird that Ranmaru, Oichi, and they're just standing there. They're not moving. If they don't move, then I might have to uh, restart because they they have to move to get these missions, and they're not moving. It could just be one of those situations where the AI glitches out and isn't moving. But I'm gonna move a little bit this way as planned, and we're just gonna kind of see what happens here. If they don't move, though, I will have to restart because maybe it's because I failed the Magoichi mission. They just were like. We're screwed, we can't do it. I don't know. I mean, that would be really dumb if they just never move again because of something as, like, not important as that. But yeah, they're not moving. I'll probably leave all this in the video too because I, this is stuff that is important if you're going for 100% this game. You gotta know what glitches can happen. And this is one, and I've gotta warn you all. Weird. Very weird. So now I guess I'll just we head this way. Your I don't want to... I don't want to get to know. And I don't want to... Um, there's two things I think. I don't want to get to know and I don't want to get to KG. Those are the two people that I don't want to interact with because that's the mission. So I can't... This is the make or break, is if I get this last fire attack done, that's the only way I'll know if I have to restart or not. Because if they don't move then, then they never will. All too easy. Right, got rid of Hidemetsu. I'm gonna head this way. There's another fire attack spot right here, I know from last time. I'm pretty sure it's up against this uh, wall. There's a wooden door right here and that's where the fire attack happens. There are still not enough flame. My assumption would be Okay, yeah, they're moving now. So literally that's how it works. It's so strange. They moved because well, actually wait, only one of them looks like they're moving. I think just Oichi is moving. All right, now Ramaru is going. Okay, that's strange. Very strange. Don't understand. Don't really care. So while I wait for them to get close, what I'm gonna do is go secure this gate up here. And then yeah, then I'll go over there and help out Ranmaru and Oichi. <clears throat> so I don't know if I'm going to get both these missions at the same time. Like, I'm not really sure how that's going to work. But my hope is to get both of them at once. So what I'm going to probably try to do, and this is going to be probably a way that you can manipulate this game. I'm going to, once one of those missions triggers, I'm going to hit KG and then run with him chasing me to the other guy. I'm gonna see if I can trigger both missions at once. This is, again, ways to kind of save some time if you're looking to 100% this game relatively quickly. If you can, uh, I'm gonna see if I can trigger this. So I'm gonna go, first I'm gonna save it just in case I break this. And then we're gonna head over here. I'm hoping that me walking this way doesn't trigger me seeing KG. I don't want that to happen yet. I don't want to be the one that notices K I don't want KG to notice me first, basically. If that happens, then I then you didn't do it right. So take that with a grain of salt. I might just for the sake of keeping it consistent here, I will go ahead and run down here and see if I can just walk this way. I might not be able to. These gates might all be closed. If that's the case, then I will uh, have to run all the way down, which would be really annoying, but I can do it. I'm not like opposed to that, but I wanna see if I can 
The problem with me failing that Magoichi mission is that everybody on my side now has crappy morale in this level right now. I don't know if that was... That's something I could have totally avoided, but I didn't. <clears throat> so we'll try it out. It's all... We're all figuring... We're just figuring this stuff out. It's been years since I've played this game, so that's why I'm like... Kind of just figuring it out with us, with y'all as we do this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and run down here. I think all these gates will be closed. So what I'm gonna do is just run this way and then go basically right back out the way I came. I know that I destroyed these gates down here so I can walk along this route and head up towards them, but they're still not in range of KG. And since their morales are so low, I don't expect that to happen quickly. So I think we're doing okay. Um, yeah, my guys are... Oichi and Ron Maru have really bad morales. It's pretty unfortunate, to say the least. So I'm going to continue along this route. I, there's also a mission to for them to interact with No, but No is very out of their way, so I'll have to figure out something with that. I'll have to see if I can do it. I'm gonna head up this way now. Interact, run into, well actually I won't run into them yet, but I'm just gonna come up here and kind of wait behind them, make sure that they interact with KG first. I don't know if that matters, but I'm just, you know, playing it safe here. Although I did save it, so I don't really, it doesn't really matter. But I will at least watch them fight, maybe help that speed it up. you back up? Okay, no, just one. Come on, Oichi. Make an effort. Trying to clear out the units. I don't know now. Ron Mar seems to be running away for some reason. I have to push you towards it. Come on. Do anything. Alright, this is okay, there he goes. Thank you. I am in your death. Lord Keiji, I challenge you. All right. Way over your head. Ron Maru just triggered it. Oh, better get here soon. I'm gonna make sure that Oichi gets close too. Let's see what happens here. It's literally. It might just pick. It might just pick one, and that's the end of it. If that's the case, then that's kind of a bummer, because that means you have to redo this level a bunch of times to be able to do this. But let me just see here. If I can go Looks to like Nobunaga. I mean, highness. not Nobunaga. Kage. Move him back here. Just have him stand rash. near. Oichi. So if he's not, if they don't track, if they don't do that, <clears throat> that would be, that's proof. That it's, it just, I guess it just takes a pick, but that would be, that's crazy. So is it literally just like chance? I mean, I guess I could literally, I could manipulate that. That could happen. But that still seems hilarious to me. That they're like... So it's just between which one of uh, with Ron Maru or Oichi is gonna run into Nobu or to Keiji first is pretty hilarious. So get him. 
so he doesn't do whatever he was about to do. Once I get rid of him, I'm going to kind of see what the dialogue tree is here, and then we're going to hopefully get some special dialogue or something. still sucks, so I'm like, it's not looking too good for our team's, uh, you know, excitedness up in here, but we're still doing it, we're still making our progress. <clears throat> oh, this is fascinating. Okay, so they are heading towards... Because I guess the gate was closed, they are heading towards Null, which is really interesting. So that explains how that became a thing. So let me look and see if there's any other stuff. So there's... With defeating No, that mission's going to pop up in a, in a little bit. And that mission is just... Either one of them is going to trigger that mission. So that's not super intense or anything like that. Just interesting. Because, yeah, like, my units are pretty low in morale at this point, so that's why it's taking so long for my units to get through that gate. But then once my units get through it, they're going to trigger that mission where we're going to be... This is going to be interesting. This is a very interesting way that they set up this level because it's fascinating to me that they planned for that. They planned that the, I guess because I didn't go to KG first, that gate doesn't open, so all my units are going to run towards no, which they already are, but now even my generals are doing that, which is kind of cool. So, I'm just going to roll on up here after them. They are just standing here now. Be very careful though with um, making sure that. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Gotta get rid of Strike Ninja. Gonna get rid of all these units to make so <clears throat> to make it so that my units actually move through here because they're taking forever. My units have a very low morale, so that's part of the reason why this is taking so long for my troops. But I'm gonna help them out here. But my generals are again way back here, which is very annoying. Okay, Ron Mauer's moving. I'm gonna try to push Oichi forward too. I like how passive they are, it's pretty hilarious. Alright, now she's moving. So what I'm gonna do is come up here, I'm gonna save again, because these are all you know, you have to make sure that, you know, Oichi and uh, Ron Maru get to her first, not my unit, not me. I don't want to trigger that, but so far I have not. How is anybody ever supposed to have figured this stuff out? This is what makes this so amusing to me. So I'm like, this is so specific. Like, okay, you have to make sure that Oichi or Ranmaru gets to know first. Also, make sure they get to Keiji first. Like, so if I just was aggressive, like, because they're so passive. So I guess it's just like, you kind of just have to hope that they move, but they, they don't so often. Come on, move. Go, Ranmaru. My hope is that if I push him enough, 
There he goes. Now start to move. Yeah, see their morales drop because they they're so they're so passive. Alright. I missed a group of units there. No, 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 don't turn around and come this way. No. Oh, gosh. Okay, there they go. Wait. Okay, Ramaru's moving. Oichi's not. Go. Go forward. Come on, Oichi. Do that thing where you start moving. There you go. Lady, no! Why did you turn on my brother? There we go. I envy your innocence. Violently so. No. Have you grown Here, I was not expecting it to look this way, so I'm surprised that it's um, it was different. Of course, see, this is why I make these videos. This this mission is different than what you see online when you look it up online, which is so stupid that people have the wrong information here. But that's why I'm making these videos is because you know if someone ever comes back and wants to 100% this game, you don't want to look at the description that's totally inaccurate. About how you unlock these things. your example. So now we have done those. I guess now we just take out Mitsuhide and we're going to do the inside again. So I won't talk any more to this. Those are two of the missions. We'll try to unlock the last one in next week's video because I think it's going to be a choice. According to online, it's defeating. You have to have Ron Maru get to KG or uh, Oichi get to KG first. But again, I don't see how that would work. So we're gonna see what happens next time. But thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Again, help me get to a thousand subs, and y'all are awesome. Most impressive. I shall withdraw for now. So I have returned here, to this castle. A short rest before the final departure.
shadow. Come out if you seek death. <laughs> Shall be banished into darkness eternally. You don't really think you can dodge bullets, right? Alas. Really hurt. I'll see you in hell. Vanish. Your spirit has been crushed. Your hopes have been dashed.
are so alone. You need enemies to validate your existence. This castle. This is the castle of the Demon Lord. <laughs> so be it.
place that is where we both belong. One cannot remain pure in chaos. The blood does not wash away easily. May you know peace in the next life, Mitsuhide. Flames consume only what can be touched. Your souls shall remain with me. I alone will shoulder the sorrow. That is all. Thank you. 